triangles and circles are the main shapes that you're going to see on the SAT, but we will see occasionally quadrilaterals. So these are parallelograms, rectangles, and squares primarily. So the first thing to remember is that the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360. And in the video on polygons, we'll actually see why that's the case. But that's one important thing to remember. The four angles in a quadrilateral, a four-sided figure, add up to 360. Now for a parallelogram, that is, as the name implies, a figure where the sides are parallel. So opposite sides are parallel. So that's parallel to that, that's parallel to that. They're also congruent. So this side is the same length as this side. These two sides are the same. And opposite angles are also equal. So this angle equals this one, and this one equals this one. And in addition, angles on the same side add up to 180. So this guy and this guy adds up to 180, and so on. So that's a parallelogram. That's pretty much all you need to know about that. We'll talk more about area and perimeter in the next video. A rectangle is really just a parallelogram with angles of 90 degrees. So all the angles are 90, but notice the same things apply. The, the sides are parallel, the sides opposite each other are congruent. Obviously all the angles in this are congruent, they're all 90 degrees, but that's pretty much it, right? That's a rectangle. And a square is also kind of a parallelogram, it's also kind of a rectangle too. It's just a parallelogram which has obviously four parallel sides, four congruent sides, and four congruent right angles. So all those things kind of all apply. So you can imagine that a parallelogram to a square is just working up the specific characteristics of each of those quadrilaterals. One other thing to remember is quadrilaterals, like a rectangle and a square, can have a, a diagonal. So if I have a terrible square, no, let me try to draw a good one. Uh, so if I have a square, and I draw a line connecting the two opposite points here, this is the diagonal, which I always manage to misspell. Diagonal. There we go. I always seem to have trouble with that word. That's a diagonal, right? Connects the two points. One other little minor note is notice this side equals this side. This angle is 90 degrees. Since these two sides are equal, these base angles must be equal, and they must then add up to 90 or be 45 each. So this is where the 45, 45, 90 triangle comes from. It's drawing a diagonal through a square. Let's see, you can also use the Pythagorean theorem here as well, but um, actually with the rectangle, so let's look at the rectangle's diagonal. You can't make any assumptions about the angle lengths or angle sizes based on this because it really just depends on the, the dimensions of the triangle. But what you can count on is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if you're given these two legs, you can use Pythagorean theorem to find the length of that diagonal. And that's pretty much all you need to know for this part of quadrilaterals.